Hey everybody, today I am excited to announce that Cody for VS Code version 1.28 is out with a brand new UI. And what's exciting about this release isn't just the UI itself, it's what this new setup enables. Here I am in Cody for VS Code, the extension version 1.28. And if I open the Cody uh, panel here, and what you can see is that we get our chat box directly on this left side panel. So traditionally, chat has been over on the right side. It would open up a new editor. Right now it lives in the sidebar and you can still open up the editor as it was in the old versions. So what's exciting about this is that we implemented this UI using web views in VS Code. And right now this is available for Kodi free users and Kodi pro users in VS Code, but it will be available for Kodi enterprise users, JetBrains users, and this unified UI is the UI that we're gonna bring to all the other editors. It's available in Kodi for web. And since this is a unified UI, it will help us move faster, ship updates, and bring Kodi to more IDEs even faster. So let's take a tour of Kodi in VS Code. Here we have our chat box and we can ask questions right here. We have our LLM dropdown as we usually have. We have our commands front and center before they were dropped in under like a, a sub menu that you had to click to open. And right now they're front and center. We also have some chat help to get you started and you could minimize these. There is the second tab here. And notice that we have these tabs up here. I'll click history. Right now mine is empty. I just cleared it. And we have commands, which is where you'll find your custom commands. This is the same exact panel that was shown here. We have our settings and we have our account information. So when we're editing something, let's open up a file right here. If I highlight something and I press option L to chat as you usually do, it'll open up Cody in the sidebar here with our chat. If you did want Cody to open up in a new sidebar editor, let's say uh, over on the right side there, you could do this button right here on the top right, click new chat, and that would open it up as it used to open up. Another way to do this is to click on Cody, the icon that's in the left primary sidebar. You can drag it over to the right. And now if you do command G, you can hide the right panel, open the right panel, and there is Cody as uh, a panel instead of a new editor or the left sidebar. So I can go ahead and do another highlight, option L, and it'll open up on the right as a panel, not as an editor, which is cool. And another way to activate this is this button up here that will actually open up in a, a new editor, not the sidebar panel. So if I press command G, it actually closes the right panel. So there's lots of different options here for you. You can use it as you used to. You can use it in the left sidebar. You can use Kodi as the right sidebar. And don't forget, there's this button right here, little external pop out button. You can pop it out. And now you have chat in a floating window, which you just saw I moved it over to a different monitor, but you can bring that to a different monitor and chat that way it's for your chat oriented programming, your chop. Cool. So this UI really exciting. I think it streamlines a lot of things, but what I'm really excited about is what it can bring to us in the future. Faster updates to Kodi and that's updates across all editors, faster ways to bring Kodi to new editors. And we can even see that Kodi, this UI right here that I have open is available in our Kodi for web, which is sourcegraph.com slash Kodi slash chat. And you can ask questions here. This is the same exact UI implemented on the web. So that's Kodi for VS Code V1.28. And this is again for Kodi free and Kodi pro users coming to enterprise and JetBrains very soon. And I hope you like it. Let us know in the comments what you think. And of course, like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks.